For more than 20 years, Stellarview has made 6-inch APO triplet refractors. These telescopes evolved through the years, and our current models have the most accurate 152mm hand-figured objectives we have ever made. Our early 152s were quite heavy, using 7-inch tubes and 8-inch dew shields. The cells were made of steel, and they were heavy. That all changed when we brought optical figuring in-house in 2019 and created the SVX 152T. For one thing, we developed a much lighter tube and dew shield and we began lightweighting the cell. Our current SVX 152T weighs as little as 23.2 pounds, making it 10 pounds lighter than its predecessor. So now our highly corrected 6-inch refractor is reasonably portable. We're also featuring many of our customers who own our venerable 6-inch refractor. These Stellarview owners have created outstanding images, used it for outreach, and have contributed to real science. Here is John Talbot, a well-known imager who teaches imaging and works with us to vet new prototypes. Hi, I'm John Talbot, and this is my Stellarview SVX-152T. This scope is number 13. It was produced in 2019 and uh, was one of the first batch of 152Ts that were made. I have zero color issues with the scope. Um, it produces full width, half max values on nights of good seeing, using one by one binning at 0.6 arc seconds per pixel at about uh, full width, half max of 3.0 six, 3.7, so it's a wonderful performer. Um, this scope has the uh, Nightcrawler focuser on it, which is an extremely precise focuser, and the camera is a ZWO um, ASI 6200, which is a full frame sensor. I also have the brand new Stellarview SFFX3 field flattener, where it produces perfectly round stars um, in the entire image frame of the camera. So it works really, really well. So this scope has been used um, quite a bit in the last few years um, doing faint planetary nebula research projects. Um, I've got two images that I know of that were the first color amateur images ever produced, FR230 in FR223. FR230 was published in a professional research paper because it was the first color image ever taken of the object. And so that's my thing. I do very, very faint objects, um, objects that are relatively unknown. And um, we've got several others in the, uh, in, the, in the queue right now that we're working on that uh, hopefully will be, again, some of the first color amateur images ever taken. Some people will say, complain a little bit uh, because of the focal length, uh, the scope is F8, but I'm telling you with these new high quantum efficiency CMOS cameras, it's like shooting through an F5 or F6 telescope. And even though I use it mainly here at home at an elevation of about 20 feet above sea level, um, I'm able to produce these images that uh, of these super, super faint objects. So um, this has been a wonderful scope. And um, I know if you're contemplating one of these things, um, this scope has just the most absolute color correction I've, I've ever seen. I mean, it, it, is, it is incredible. Here is another 152 owner, Brian Myers. We will show some of his stunning images during this segment. Hi, I'm Brian Myers, and I've been using the SVX-152 for right about a year now. Uh, my first stellar view scope was actually the SVX-90, and I was so blown away with the performance of that scope that when it came time to find one that would uh, take me down, take my image scale down to the limits of my seeing, I made sense to look at the SVX-152. Uh, talking with Vic, who's always willing to pick up the phone and chat, and that's something I, I really appreciate, I made it a somewhat easy decision. Uh, so far, I can't say enough good things about the scope, uh, both photographically and visually. And on nights of good seeing, I've had PixInsight calculate full width half max down as low as 1.8 arc seconds across all three channels. 
Uh, visually, I've had some of the best lunar and planetary views with this scope. Uh, I don't see any false color at 300x magnification on the moon. Uh, once I push it up to 600x just to see what would happen. And there was some slight fringing on sharp crater edges along the Terminator, but honestly, I couldn't tell you if it was atmospheric dispersion or the eyepiece or even the scope itself. Uh, overall, I'm pretty confident saying that the scope delivers maximum performance up to the limits of my local conditions each night that I used it. We usually show the test results of our telescopes in these videos, so here we are in our Figuring and Metrology lab. Here's the Zygo test report of the latest lens that just came through production. This is SVX 152T lens number 153. As you can see, it's very accurate as measured on the Zygo in red light. But how does it perform in green and blue light? Well, here's a double pass auto collimation test showing the performance in green light. Here it is once again in red light. And here it's what it looks like in blue light. We have been making these precision optics for so long that we sometimes forget some of the benefits of having a truly accurate optic. Jeff, an SVX 152T owner, attended our Dark Sky Star Party, and he reminded me about one of the benefits of having a truly precision optic. A telescope like this allows one to finally relax. The contrast and sharpness are just extraordinary. Your eyes relax. You, you see things you've never seen before. We've had excellent seeing the last two or three nights, and, I, and I've really enjoyed uh, just doing visual astronomy, which is new to me. I've been an astro imager for the last five or six years, and I'm trying to learn how to do this uh, more patient and slowly. This is the SVX-152T owned by the Sacramento Valley Astronomical Society. Club members use this telescope to teach imaging, electronically assisted astronomy, and research. StellarView supports teachers, schools, colleges, nonprofits, and others who are involved in outreach with special discounts. Inspiring people to learn more about science and the night sky is what we are all about. Our mission is to inspire healthy interest in science and astronomy by handcrafting precision telescopes. We hope this video has answered any questions you may have about the SVX-152T. If you do have any other questions, please call or email us. We really want to talk with you. Thanks for tuning in.